Hey guys, it's Paul and the Ultimaker 2 Plus has been down. Uh, I recently added a new sheet of PEI to the bed and I didn't do a very good job leveling it. Uh, what happened was the print came loose and what it did is uh, as the print head was moving around it got plowed into and all of that filament melted inside the print head. So I've got a mess to clean up. So let's go through how to clean up the blog. Hey guys, my name is Paul. Welcome to Where Nerdy is Cool. And well, <laughs> here's what happened. I'm gonna show the video right now. This is a time lapse from Octoprint. And as you can see, uh, I was printing out a, a Star Wars Porg. And the first layer looked like it was going pretty good. And then as we got towards the middle, I must have had the, either the bed too close or too far up, who knows. But you can just see that everything just kind of pops off and winds up uh, getting shut right into the uh, print head. So, Good time, right? At least I was home to catch it and uh, I had been checking on it and uh, otherwise I would have had nine hours of uh, uh, filament melting on the print head. That would have been a good time. The tools I have today, I contacted my friends at Ultimaker and said, what's the best way to clean this up? Uh, I got the GoPro sitting out here because what we'll do is we'll try to stick that in the printer to get some footage while we do stuff. The most of the mess is gone. I had to remove the uh, fan shroud to get at a lot of the filament that had melted up there. And it wasn't a terrible blob. I got a couple pictures here I can show you. But uh, as you can see, the nozzle is pretty much a lost cause. I'm not even gonna try to clean that up or heat it or what have you. I have a replacement one. Um, I also have a couple tools that I have here. Uh, first off is just a, a cloth. Uh, my hope is that on try number one, we'll print, we'll uh, heat up the print head and we'll get the temperature going and see how much of that will wipe off of there. Uh, if that doesn't work, uh, then I have this wire brush. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's, it should work, right? Um, and then if I have to get aggressive, I have the, uh, uh, the, the Dremel. Uh, I don't know how fun it's going to be to get at that, uh, at that angle with the Dremel tool, but you know, if, if we have to go to that degree, uh, we'll go there. So we'll get the, uh, uh, the uh, GoPro Hero going and uh, we'll heat this thing up and well, let's see what happens. Let's see how easy it is to clean this up. Okay, it's uh, pretty smelly in there. And as you can see, I got the GoPro sticking in there. Let's uh, see if I can do this without burning myself. Let's see, let's move you. Okay, this is more stuff on. Well, let's move over to the brush stage. Because that, uh, I'm having some good luck with the cloth, but this stuff is definitely loosened up. Yeah, that's actually moving along pretty nice. All right. Making sure to brush away my eyes here. I don't want this stuff in my face. Just a pro tip there. All right. Now it's that back half we're still gonna get. I'm impressed that uh, that stuff is coming up. And this side as well. Uh, I probably got stuff all over the camera, but <clears throat> that's what why well, it's an action camera. Okay, I'm actually fairly pleased how this is working out. And being the perfectionist that I strive to be, I just want to get these other spots will probably generate some smells later. Trying to get a few layers of the uh, cloth here. All right, I think that looks 
really good. Okay, that's why I need this in a quick rub down. I'm seeing residue show up here. Stunning view of the top of my head, I'm sure. Okay. Well, there's a few spots that I don't think are gonna go. But I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. All right, good. Let's put it back together and uh, get our nozzle on there. Okay, the print completed. Let's, uh, actually this comes right off. And let me uh, make sure I get some light here. That first layer is pretty ugly. Um, and as you can see, uh, the rest of the print came out just freaking awesome. But uh, obviously I didn't have the, uh, uh, the bed quite right when I first started out. But uh, yeah, nicely done. So guys, we got a good print. The nozzle is happy and the, the cleanup wasn't nearly as bad as we thought. You know, pretty much most everything came off of the cloth, but the brass brush did a really good job getting a lot of the stuff off of there as well too. Uh, I'm glad we didn't have to uh, go into the uh, Dremel wire brushes here. Uh, I'm not sure how easily that would have been accessible with the uh, Dremel anyway. But yeah, it's up and working, so now I just have to uh, get back into the groove of printing on my Ultimaker. Uh, I definitely need to work on my bed leveling skills, especially with a new print surface, but uh, you know, that just takes some time. Over here on the right is where you can subscribe and see all my cool content. Thanks for watching, and remember, this is where nerdy is cool.